Good evening. Welcome to the second episode of Kestrel Investigates with me, Agravain Kestrel, and my lovely cameraman, Mike. <laughs> Say hello, Mike. Yeah. Now, we have had an amazing response to our first episode, The Owl Man of Pontifract, with nearly 400 views on YouTube in little under a month. Incredible. Hey. And thanks to those who have been sending um, your suggestions in about what you'd like me to look into next. <laughs> Ooh. Johnny Roller Skates has asked if we can investigate a mysterious highwayman who haunts a toilet block on Woodhouse Moor. Sounds interesting. Hepstick asks if we can interview the Leeds rock band who are currently being haunted by Les Gray, the deceased lead singer of Glam Rockers Mud. Program. Trevor Goodrum mentions Nessie. And finally, Seventh Level has written Dear Kestrel, please could you investigate why all the people in Castleford have no teeth? Excellent suggestions, all. Keep them coming, but keep them clean, won't you, for God's sake? Now, I wanted to show you something quickly. I was featured in our local free paper. Up a bit. And off the back of this, I was contacted by a local witch called Mother Gaia, who wrote in asking for my help. Ah, here it is. Dear Agravan Kestrel, I recently saw you in a newspaper. I am a local witch who would like your help in overturning the usual uh, stereotypes, myths and stereotypes, myths and generalizations. I've read that bit twice. Generalizations that surround my profession. Please contact me at the return address so we can meet up in person. Mother Gaia. Now witchcraft has long been associated with paganism. Those practicing its arts have been punished and shunned. Witch hunters scoured the land to put people on trial. One of their favoured methods of testing if an accused individual was a witch was to tie their thumbs to the opposing big toes and throw them in the river. Bit silly, isn't it, really? If you sank, you were innocent. And if you floated, you were guilty. Well, thankfully, witches are no longer publicly executed, but they're still very much misunderstood. So I've been in touch with Mother Gaia, and I'm pleased to say that this week, Kestrel will be investigating the Poppleton Witch. Right, so we want to take the first left after bag and booze. Hey! It says here on the address of the letter she's given me that her real name is Janet Jackson. Really? That can't be the same one. I would have thought so. Hmm. Right, well I suppose I better pop in here and get it over with. I suppose. All done? Yep, for another two weeks. Alright, come on then. Hey, I'm excited about meeting a real life witch. Have mm. you ever met one before? No. She might be all warty and old. Mm. Kestrel investigates. Um, I like your plants. Uh, I've got a, um, a spider plant at home, but. Uh, I think it's dead. Well, these are mainly medicinal. I use them in my spells. Oh, so what's that menthol smell? Oh. It's a strepsil. I've got a cold. Oh. So here we are with Mother Gaia in a lovely hobble. Right, so you are a witch. That's right. I practice the ancient pagan traditions commonly known as witchcraft. You don't look anything like a witch to me. <laughs> yeah, well, ignorant people think to be a witch you have to be an old cackling crone covered in warts. I can still give people the evil eye, though. 
You have beautiful eyes. Okay, so you've invited us here today to um, discuss your train and try and dispel some of the myths surrounding what you do. So first up, um, is it nice being a witch? Well, no, not always. I'm often criticised by local Christian groups for being a pagan. Yet in this country, paganism far outdates Christian belief. In fact, Many of our national holidays were originally pagan. I didn't know that. Did you, did you know that, Mike? Well, yeah. Haven't you ever read the Da Vinci Code? Then I saw your programme and I thought, there's a man who can set the record straight. Where? You. Oh? Your investigations have shaken the bedrock of the occult world. Well, I've only done one. Yes, but just knowing you're out there, ready to expose the myths and legends. People are talking. Oh. Oh, crikey! So what is it you do as a witch? Well, mostly spells. I provide a service to help people who are down on the look. Maybe have career problems, infertility. Or maybe they want someone to fall in love with them. And you, you can do that? Oh, yes. It usually requires a ceremony and some form of payment. Payment? Uh like a sacrifice? No, no, about 300 quid. Oh, right. Currently, all my spells are buy two, get the third free, and all curses have 20% off. You're welcome. So where do you advertise? I mean, ideally, you could do with a, a consumer guide for reviews. You know, like which magazine? There's a which magazine? No, I mean, you, you know, the product comparison magazine. It doesn't matter. If you're interested, I need to live help foraging. For a gin? Well, it's a bit no, early for she, me to No, she means foraging. Like going out for herbs and stuff like that. Oh! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Let's do it! Uh, it's this, this way. Oh, yeah. Uh, right, yeah. Yeah. Certainly these days in TV and films, witches all ride broomsticks. <laughs> yeah, or have pointy black hats. Exactly. Although the younger generation all think to be a witch, you have to go to Hogwarts. Where's that? Hogwarts. The school? From Harry Potter? Daffodil, isn't it? That's the common name, derived from the Greek word asphodel. But before we adopted that name, we called this sunlit landslide, as the route is incredibly effective at relieving constipation. Oh, fascinating. Here's another. Dream leaf. Steep and mash in hot water, then consume the broth to see visions of your future. I never even knew these old names even existed. Places, plants, animals, they've all gone by many names. Take your surname, Kestrel, for example. The old name for that was Windfucker. Oh. This is called Bride's Delight. It stops impotence, if brewed with the correct ingredients. Right, mate, what I'm trying to do is <laughs> get the stopwatch to, oh, you know, oh, I almost had it. You know, see how close I can get to... to oh, just... wait, that's dead on! That's dead on! <laughs> you know, she's already started. Oh, right. Uh, <clears throat> what we're seeing here is called the ceremony of the all-seeing eye. Well, the guy is going to present me with a vision of my future. As is tradition, I've had to cross a palm with silver. You've done what? It don't matter. Well, it does matter. You still owe me. I've given her a post-dated cheque. It's fine. Oh, uh, right. Oh, what she's doing here? Go casting the circle. 
The circle is a sacred space between two worlds. This world and uh, uh, another one. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh uh, well, now she's a. Uh, hey, now she's calling on the spirits, uh, um, or the elements, even. Uh, oh, I don't know why. It, it, it doesn't say in here. Not sure what she's doing now. What's it say on there? I don't know. Does that look like number six to you? What she's doing there? <laughs> no. <laughs> What the hell is this? Did you even print off the right stuff? I told I you. I off what you told me. <laughs> what? What's that? What's she doing? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, well, that's the uh, ceremony of the all seeing eye. Okay. Agravain Kestrel. Enter the circle. And drink the potion. Then you shall see what you desire. Bottoms up. <laughs> now what? Now you must wait. Alone. Mike, you must come with me. Leave your friend to his vision quest. Will do. See you, Kez. <laughs> Kes? 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 Where are you, Don't mate? Don't come near me! Stay away! It's all right. Father! Oh, no, it's... It's me, it's Mike. I'm not sure if we exist. Oh, come on, get up. Come on, kiss. Mike! What, what's that? I think I have a stiffy. Oh, God, yeah, you do. Hey. Wait, wait. Let me get your hat. Honestly. Kestrel investigates. Well, wasn't that an experience? Oh, we, we certainly strayed into the occult fringes of society. I myself drank the witch's intoxicating brew and peered into the void beyond. Kes. Well, we went there to investigate witchcraft. I was certain we got that. White witch of the woodlands, wherever you are, until we meet again. <coughs> This bad since the teacups at Flamingo Land. Oh. So, in conclusion, then, witches, spells, enchantment, and that real or superstition? I think the evidence speaks for itself. Oh, and it's still speaking. So, remember, until next time, you explained it's only unexplained. <laughs> Please subscribe to my channel if you like what you see and if you have any suggestions of what you'd like me to investigate next as long as it's not too far from the Yorkshire district just pop it in the comments below oh.